What up, people? What up, YouTube? It's Fire Dragon DBZ21. I need to wash my hands before I mess around and do an Illuminati symbol or some Baphomet kind of crap. But, anyways, I want to make this video. This is a quick, maybe five minute video. I want to give a shout out to the people that work the nine to fives. Now, here's the thing most people won't make videos like this, most people don't make videos like this. But what I want to do is, I want to say thank you to all the people out there who work the 9 to 5s. And I'm going to tell you why these 9 to 5 jobs are important. All right? Now, when we say 9 to 5 job, we're basically just talking about a 40 hour a week job. It's not really every job is 9 to 5. Hell, there's even some jobs you don't even get an hour lunch. So it's more like it's, yeah, you may get 30 minute lunches or two 15 minute breaks or even just one 30 minute lunch for a whole 8 or 9 hour shift. Hell, there's some people out there who work 12-hour shifts. I used to work 16-hour shifts. There are people out there working 17-hour shifts. There are people who work two jobs. They're only getting four hours worth of sleep a day because for some odd reason our economy is so selfish and greedy that they can't pay people a livable wage. I'm not going to jump into that, though. But what I want to do is I want to thank people out there who work the 9-to-5 jobs. I know you don't get thanked a lot. I, this ain't even a big YouTube channel to be doing that, but I don't care. I'm making the video anyways. So I want to thank the, the people who work at Burger King and McDonald's. I'm tired of people keep shitting on these people that work at Burger King and McDonald's. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're getting your bills paid, as long as your kids are fed, got clothes on their back, as long as y'all got a roof over your head, to hell what everybody says. You got these uppity people who talk about, oh, you going to work at McDonald's and Burger King. A job is a job. People who work at Arby's, Hardee's, Wendy's, all these food, because you got to realize this, all these so-called rich people with all this money, oh yeah, you know, I got money, it ain't, you know, I'll never work that type of job. Don't y'all punk asses go there to get some food to eat? Ain't you the ones that be in the, the line during lunch, you know, getting in that slow traffic? I'm not going to call it rush hour traffic because it doesn't make sense to call it that when everybody's moving slow. But uh, when you getting in that slow traffic and you getting your your happy meal there's nothing wrong with working at McDonald's there's nothing wrong with working at Burger King or Taco Bell or any of these places I want to thank every single body who work at these places because what you don't know is these people work to the bone they work hard they work hard I almost cussed I gotta hold back you know I'm ex-military we like to cuss a lot you know I'm trying to hold back you know YouTube guidelines but they work hard. They earn theirs. So like I said, as long as you getting that money, you saving that money up to do something bigger. Because I was the same boat. I used to work at Subway and McDonald's. There's nothing wrong with that. Because I took my money and I saved it up. You know what I'm saying? And I used it to uh, do stuff with it. So there's nothing wrong with that. All right, my bad. I'm putting on some noodles. So uh, some ramen noodles. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, I do want to thank y'all. Anybody working the fast food place, I want to thank y'all for what y'all do. Um, I respect what y'all do, and I want to be thankful because y'all go through a lot of stuff. Now they they do hire some kids in there who be hard headed and lazy. Now I will admit that there's some there's some teenagers in there who don't take their job serious, but a lot of people who work at these places do take their job serious. And I want to thank you for all the work that you put in for taking your job serious. Next up, I want to thank the uh, warehouse workers. I want to thank the truck drivers because the truck drivers have it hard. Sometimes they work. I think y'all work like 16 hour days or something like that. Also as well, they're always on the road. Sometimes they're on the road for three to six months at a time. I hope I got that correct. I want to thank y'all for y'all doing what y'all do. I want to thank y'all for that. Uh, I want to thank the people working in the warehouses. So I used to work in a warehouse as well. Man, I had a lot of different jobs. I didn't drive trucks though. But I, I, that was more like my brother. I, I want to thank y'all for, you know, packaging up the items, loading the items. I want to thank the people who make the items. I want to thank those people as well. These are jobs people really don't think is important, but they make the world go round. Don't no corporate CEO make the world go round. The hell with it. They don't do nothing. They just sit up in suits that are made by people who actually work hard to make those suits. Just for them to have a markup because somebody put their name on the suits. Get out of here with that mess. I want to thank 
all the people out there who make clothes, who make the shoes. I want to thank the uh, doctors and nurses who who sit up there working 22 hours a day trying to save lives. They stressed out, barely get anything to eat. I want to thank y'all. Um, who else? I want to thank, because, you know, the doctors and, well, it's really the nurses. The nurses do a lot. I mean, the doctors do their thing, but the nurses, they do a lot. They go through a lot. Like taking care of people, cleaning up after people, especially those who works in the older folks' homes and stuff like that, where people have might have dementia or anything like that, or manic depressive disorder or anything, you know, anybody dealing with mental illnesses. I, I want to thank y'all for what y'all do. Like I said, a lot of people is not going to do that, um, but I want to get on here and I want to thank y'all for that because y'all don't get that enough. Who, who else I want to thank? Um, if I'm missing anybody, I, I'm, I'm sorry. But what I really want to thank is the people who pick up trash, the plumbers, the guy, the building construction workers, the welders, the mechanics. Without mechanics, your car is not going to work. The good mechanics, not the ones who be scheming you. Okay? Not the ones who be scamming you. Um, who else? I want to thank uh, the building construction workers. Because without them, you wouldn't have a roof over your head, literally. Unless you build your own house. That's different. But, yeah, they, they be building. Um, I want to thank the welders. Because if it weren't for them, you wouldn't even have the uh, material to make a struct. You wouldn't even be able to build buildings. Let's put it that way. Um, I want to thank um, the, the, the people who pick up trash because think about it if you ain't got nobody coming around picking up your trash and just sitting in front of your house how you going to decompose of it you can't exactly burn it so what are you going to do with it you need them to come pick it up and I also want to thank the plumbers who keep the our system going there are people who go down I forgot what they're called but there are people who literally go down in the sewers and clean the crap out the sewers that get stuck and gunked up and they have to wear special uniforms and take special showers. That job actually exists. I want to thank those people for what they be doing. Mm, there's some good news. Um, but yeah, I want to thank everybody out there who works the hard jobs that people don't realize that they work. Because we always think the military. We always think, you know... Um, we do thank, you know, nurses, but I don't think they thanked enough as much as doctors are. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of jobs out there we don't even realize that we need and realize how they push the economy and how they push things forward. But I want to thank those people for those jobs. And I want to thank you for doing a damn good job as well. So we need, so here, here's the thing. If you see somebody picking up your trash and it's hot outside, get them some ice cold water. Or just say thank you. Or simply wrap your bags up so it make it easier for us to toss in the trash in the first place. I used to be the hopper on the back and I can't tell you how many times when I try to go pick up trash that somebody have it in a weak bag and as soon as you pick it up, all the trash fall out. <laughs> but seriously though, I want you to go out there and thank them. I want you to thank a plumber next time you see them. I want you to thank the person who works to clean out the sewage. Thank them. Like I said, there's plenty of jobs that I'm probably forgetting, but at the end of the day, heck, thank thank your pilot for getting you from point A to point B safely. Thank thank the pilot. Thank the stewardess because really, the, uh, uh, or is it flight attendants? If I if I got that wrong, I apologize. Because basically, they're there to help make your experience better and even sometimes they can be there to help you if you get nervous or agitated and you know you really can't do anything and some of them are actually medically trained to help you you know and um last but not least and i know this is very controversial i do want to thank the good police officers those who call out their fellow co-workers for not doing their job like they're supposed to are those police officers who understand the community, understand what people are going through, and help them accordingly? They're not people with a badge and a gun and a bulletproof vest who think they're better than everybody and think they're gods. You get rid of that impunity, you're going to see how many real police officers there are. 
But I do want to thank the good police officers for actually doing their job and going out there every single day and protecting people because they put the badge on because to them it has meaning and it has worth. So, like I said, I, I just want to thank some of the jobs that really don't get thanked that much, especially the people who clean out the sewers. I'm stuck on that because when I found out that was a job, I was like, they have it the worst. They should be getting paid at least 30 or 40 dollars an hour i think they get paid like a hundred dollars an hour i think i think they actually do yeah but th that's to me all those jobs is more important to me and ceo of a company all those jobs existed before companies or businesses or corporations even existed you always had somebody who was a doctor who you always had somebody who was uh like some type of security you always had those type of people you couldn't run a kingdom Without some uh, a doctor, you know, or or farmer, or somebody who makes clothing, uh, 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 seamstress, I think that's what it's called. So those are thankless jobs. I feel like, and I want to thank people for having those jobs and for doing those jobs. Because of you, you don't realize the American economy goes and the American everyday life can keep going forward and forward because of these thankless jobs. So I do want to thank all these jobs. And I want to tell you right now, I don't care how famous I get, how rich I get, how poor I am or anything like that. Notice how I said that. But I don't, I don't care about any of that because it's not more important being a YouTuber is not more important being a millionaire is not more important than all those jobs I just listed those jobs are the most important jobs that we need in this country so I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for real and, and y'all be safe out there because even though you're helping us out I'm still smacking you in the face so be safe by smacking the face all right then